Hi Aries, my name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease. I want to welcome all the new subscribers that have come on recently. If you haven't been with me before, know that my readings are general and might not apply to you, but hopefully there's something you can take away. And I don't work with the tarot, I work with a set of oracle cards and my readings aren't date specific so feel free ha to have a look back at my previous readings that I have done and if you'd like to work with me one on one, feel free to send me a short sweet email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible within 24 hours or less. So Aries, you big ball of fire, that's how you were presenting this week as a soulless <laughs> this is amazing um so you are really coming into your power you might be having enlightening experiences very spiritual experiences you might be opening up your first three chakras your your root chakra your sacral chakra and your solar chakra feeling more rooted perhaps um and feeling more more stable and secure in your life feeling able to go with the flow of your desires and being able to express yourself and mostly know who you are in your gut so this is this is really amazing i constantly i always think of i am when i see this card i am which is a god consciousness so what is it that you are affirming yourself affirming to yourself if, are you saying i'm sad or i'm happy whether you know you're true <laughs> you're totally right so what is it that you want to be true for you because our our thoughts are so so powerful and perhaps you are realizing that so what else can we get for the amazing aries who's coming into their power can i get a hell yeah hell yeah <laughs> i'm also um being drawn to look into his eyes and they just like look like clear blue lakes so i'm wondering if there is some kind of purification that you are going through but by fire and whenever there is a wildfire it is actually can be really positive for the ecosystem because it burns up all the dead uh plants and everything that wasn't serving that ecosystem before and can actually remineralize the soil so new life can begin and emerge so i'm wondering if you're kind of having a phoenix moment of of rebirth and as i say that we have the singer of initiation and perhaps there's something in the sagittarius reading for you because they got both of these cards as well um so you might be going through some major wrap-ups and completions at this time and you're being birthed into a new reality and this is very interesting because with soulless i actually want to do it this way so you have two things that are going on at the moment one is you're having this fire and light within or rise up within you and it's going up to uh, consciousness it's helping to expand this universe at the same time you are having universal consciousness pure love and light come down into you and through you um, gifting you with so much wisdom and um information intel data and again i i'd like to also remind you if there is a lot of noise if there's a lot of things going on solace also says it is in the silence is when you can hear me best something like that i always paraphrase but do your best to have moments of silence during the day and that's when you are going to really tap into your power your power is now not in the future not in the past 
Now, 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 now. So yeah, there's a lot of information. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, Aries. I think there's something in the Sag reading. So yeah, there is there is a huge transformation that is going on with you with the singer of initiation. And um, these singers are also can be seen as angels, if you believe them in them as well. So there is this uh, depositing of information and wisdom and intel. You might be having very spiritual, um, perhaps psychedelic experiences or more of your spiritual gifts and talents are coming more online or you're just having some kind of awakening. And, and also your, um, your, you're just rising up. You're just on this ascension. And all of this is giving rise to a new perspective of some kind. Your life, I think, is taking a 360 in a really good way. Is taking... It's just really starting to turn. And if you haven't felt like that wheel has been turning for you, that you maybe you've been stuck in certain situations that that just weren't moving it just seemed like there was like no end to it that is finally moving and budging and coming to a halt and I also say want to say that you're backed up um you know these guys are just so um to me they are just like so funny and sweet and and so I think you might be discovering that you might have a lot more support than you thought you did. I just I just see you opening something up and you've just come across some kind of gold mine. You know, you found your mother's or grandmother's old jewelry or um I don't know, just just some kind of something. Um just some kind of gift. I am just kind of seeing you go through things and um, get rid of things and, and find things that you forgot about. And maybe you're coming across some kind of opportunity, financial, um, some kind of relationship or something of something similar of that nature. Um, and Those guys just really make me laugh. Yeah, Aries. Um, yeah, you are totally on this rise. You are you are spiraling up. You are totally on this rise, um, and it's going to be different for all of you. It might be spiritual. It might be financial. It might be in the love department, or it might be in every single aspect of your life. Um, so there is just, there's a change in perspective or some kind of change. Because I'm just getting, I'm just getting drawn to her eyes and that they're closed. So you might be just visualizing, visualizing the life that you want to live because you've had some kind of quantum shift, quantum leap. Um, you've just discovered something. You've opened up this chest of gold um, about yourself. And maybe it's just discovering that you are the chest of gold. You are a treasure chest. And, and you are just like, ah, like there's just some kind of release and, and softness about you there there you are this big fireball in the sky Aries um, but there's actually a softness about it there's a I think you've come to a point of surrender yeah I think I think that You've come to a point of, of surrender, of not a giving up, totally different, a surrendering to God and allowing 
It's like you've just allowed yourself to be a leaf in the wind and just allow the wind to carry you to where you're meant to be. And this is such a spiritual thing to do. And there's a and there's a whole purification, this process of of surrendering. Because initiations can be very painful. Sometimes um when there's when when we are required to up level there might be things that happen that make us feel like we're between a rock and a hard place and you either have the choice to to die or grow and i don't mean physically die but just you know go backwards i don't really believe in going backwards there's really no such thing but um I hope you know what I mean. And so, obviously, Aries, you have chosen to to grow and transcend whatever difficult time this was. And you were just like, well, I just, I just surrender, you know. I am finally just going to trust myself, trust the universe, that it has my best interests. I've discovered what a precious being I am. If you haven't, I think you should. <laughs> and and so now you just have your eyes closed and you're just allowing your uh, rose on Titanic. And now Jack is about to say, open your eyes, rose. And now you're about to see this big, beautiful world that's just your oyster because of this shift in perspective the shift in perspective is everything because you now know your power and you know that whatever has had this hold on you doesn't have a hold on you your your feet aren't touching the ground you aren't like really in this reality anymore you're already living in this other reality and that is where you are rooted aries this dream, this vision, this desire, that is where you are rooted. And this is why I was saying surrender because of his eyes. He just has this, both of the, both of their eyes, both the Oakman and Solus, their eyes are, are soft and just have this sense of let what come be, you know? Like, have your way with me. Like, just just move me in where I meant to go. Like, there's just this, there's just this beautiful, there's just this beautiful release and just allowing the waves in the ocean to, to guide you to where you're meant to go. And it's really, really beautiful. It's one of the most spiritual things we can do is to is to have that that surrendering process and to allow that that love that you know all of that universal energy to just totally come into us and have its way with us and show us where we're supposed to go you know we we think our life is supposed to look this way this is what i want this is how it's supposed to go and we create all of these these boundaries and guidelines and that's the universe knows so much more than you it is the eagle in the sky it has this higher perspective and so yeah you are trusting the higher perspective to guide you to where you're meant to be you're not limiting the universe anymore to to deliver you what you want you're not saying i want a million dollars and it has to come through this teeny tiny pinhole i want a million dollars and i'm totally receptive to how it wants to come to me now you have a million more options and avenues in the way the universe can deliver that and so you are releasing all of this resistance aries so as to allow what you want to come to you and we'll end on mikola muckle which is my peter pan energy and um just child's play 
just being childlike, just being carefree, being able to just run around in the garden and pick berries and eat them just like right off the branch. Um, and the, the non-toxic ones, of course, Aries, of course. <laughs> I felt like I could hear you say, there are toxic berries, you know, you can't eat every one that you see. I know that. And being able to just like crack open a watermelon on a rock and just, just eat it and have juice dripping down your chin and just loving it, just loving it and just dancing in the sunshine. And so... Yeah, again, there might be something in the Sag video for you, but yeah, there's this there's this balance and marriage that's happening between this this powerhouse, this mastery energy, and also this childlike energy. Um, and so I was also mentioning purification too. So you are coming more into your childlike self, and this is just spirit to just this is spirit just reminding you to stay light, to stay playful, to stay childlike, to be creative, to continue to draw and dance and sing and engage in those things that you really love to do, that you really love to do when you are a child, because that is just going to bring in more wonderful things to stay in that place. So, so Aries, I hope that this was really beneficial for you. Um, you are going through an amazing period and stay rooted in that vision, in that dream. Stay rooted in that and just um, know that you are on an ascension and, and it's so wise to have this trust, to just surrender and just trust that it is all going to work out. You might not have an effing clue on how it's all going to come together. <laughs> Things might be getting down to the wire for you, but this is just going to change your life of just completely surrendering. Even if you just try it for a few days or a week, just see what comes up for you and just fo keep following that trail because the universe can line things up like that. It's all about dealing with your resistance. And the moment you let go of your resistance, it all can come to you. So again, I hope this was beneficial for you. And I do have a gift for all of you. I've been receiving so much support and I just really want to give back. I have a 30% off coupon, coupon code to Savannah and they sell crystals and crystal jewelry. Uh, men and women's clothing, singing bowls, chimes, all sorts of amazing things. And your money will be going to a great cause too if you do decide to purchase something from them. Um, it will go to children in India who are susceptible to VADD, which is the number one leading cause to childhood blindness and death. So uh, this is a cause that's really important to me. And so, yeah, just know that your money will be going to a really great cause and I will get a commission, but at no extra cost to you. And so, yeah, just feel free to window shop too. It's just, they just have such beautiful things. They're really pretty to look at. Um, so anyway, know that you are never alone, Aries. You are so loved and always be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Bye.